of galleries here. We're going to start out at the Michela Yachinen Gallery and then we're going to run upstairs to the Jack Handley Gallery. Stay tuned. Alexander Tolvborg and this piece is titled Altars of Humanity. This is the gallery's second solo show with Alexander Tolvborg. For this exhibition to Tolvborg has presented a single monumental painting in the exhibition space upheld by a procession of six small bronze sculptures This exhibition is the sister show to The Symbol Has Resurrected Bloom and Paul in New York. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, well. It says here, Alexander lives and works in Copenhagen. And uh, well, I think I came in maybe two years ago and saw his first show here. Okay, they don't give us any information about the uh, the medium or the dimensions, but I would say this is probably about uh, oh, 10 feet tall and uh, uh, maybe 30 feet long. And let's see, we'll get up close. Looks like this might be some kind of particle board. Maybe oil paint. Well, I think I initially saw one of, or a couple of Alexander's pieces at a art show. Maybe it was Freeze about four years ago. And, uh, then I came in here and they had one of his pieces in the back room a couple of years ago and uh, while well, I was intrigued. I think one of the things that um, is interesting is that Alexander is from Denmark and another one of uh, like the very interesting painters that's getting a lot of attention these days. Telar is also Danish. At least Danish Israeli, maybe. Well, I guess it's hard to uh, give you a, 
hard critique on this piece because it's so massive. Okay, so he's always got something on, looks like masonite. And there's uh, some kind of fabric that he's collaged on. Anyway, I like the uh, the color fades and uh, the scumbling, the scumbling over the textures. So that was Altars of Humanity by Alexander Tovborg. Now we're gonna go upstairs. So this is the Jack Hanley Gallery. And uh, this is an exhibition by Heidi Hahn. I'll just get a quick installation view. I actually, uh, daylight savings time started today, so uh, it's getting dark extremely early. Well, I came in last weekend and uh, saw Heidi's show. I didn't have time then, but uh, I decided I would come back and take a little walk through. And the title of the show is The Future is Elsewhere If It Breaks Your Heart. And, uh, well, I like Heidi's exuberant use of the paint. And, uh, this is titled, yes, The Future is Elsewhere, 68 by 64 oil on canvas. Uh, one of the things that I uh, was struck with was the way that Heidi kind of masses out her figures. Kind of uh, strips them down. Made me think of uh, Edvard Munch. And uh, and she's got uh, a lot of layers of paint. A lot of it is these broad kind of flat areas of color. But uh, she also has a lot of nice little vignettes going on. 72 by 68. I like this one. The future is elsewhere, number three. Now I. Uh, Looked at this and was kind of thinking about these figures. I'll get up and you can see some of the nice, rich, fat brush strokes. But I was wondering, uh, is, this, is this ladies on a subway or sitting at a park bench or waiting for a bus? And, uh, a lot of nice little subtle variations. You've got this kind of a liver pink off of this uh, kind of khaki beige. This is number eight. 72 by 68. And Heidi uh, also is 
kind of proficient using her little symbols, you know, the little code words maybe, images, code images. Like that little tree sprout there, is that a sign of uh, emerging life? Or, I don't know, maybe the leaves are falling off, maybe that's a sign of the fall. The girl holding a book. It's another interesting piece of iconography. This is number nine, 56 by 46. I actually thought this piece was the most or referenced monk the most because You've got this figure that almost uh, dissolves into kind of organic oval forms. But, uh, okay, maybe this is a self-portrait, the artist painting. There's a lot of nice uh, dripping blotting, staining, wiping, glazing. And oh, there's another symbol, a little single flower on the windowsill. Also, I like the way that uh, she plays off the figure in the light against the dark backgrounds. Luscious paint. So the figure is elsewhere, number 10. Yeah, these are, uh, I wouldn't say jam packed, but they are certainly uh, laden with a lot of symbolism. The clock. And again, you've got this. Uh, I have a female silhouette in the dark. It's all about the passage of time, maybe. But, yeah, Heidi doesn't get too finicky. She uh, leaves a lot of the, a lot of the uh, juicy brushwork visible. She's also got a nice uh, sense of her grays. Like a whole spectrum of them. We've got uh, green grays, blue grays, violet grays. And we'll quickly run through the back room. Future results were number four. Well, I've had people that have commented and think that I'm only interested in abstract painting. And although I, I do have an interest in abstract painting, especially uh, kind of color-based abstraction or color-based formalism, I'm also interested in figurative painting. This goes way back to uh, People like Philip Guston and uh, Neo-Expressionism. It's kind of interesting and I like the way that uh, Heidi kind of uses this dripping paint as a, an analogous form to uh, maybe water running through a window. This is actually an interesting pairing. Got sort of a salmon pink piece. This is number five. This is 58 by 42. And again, here the figure is almost like the horizon line here. And uh, oh, this is very nice up here. A little tree 
kind of changes color when it crosses the setting sun and we got our leaves falling. This is number six. Now this one is very pared down. She has left kind of an echo of a, a grid in there. This is the Futures Elsewhere number seven. And this might be the most uh, unusual composition out of this entire grouping. So we've got a real kind of a cityscape here. Figures are much smaller. And uh, well, each one of these figures in the windows basically are almost like miniature versions of the larger paintings. You've got this, and this is a very uh, kind of current icon of today, the person with the cell phone at night. I'll read a little bit from the press release. The women displayed in, these new, in this new series are in transit, active or passive, walking or waiting, reading or looking at their phone, on the verge of new destinations or chapters. The characters are always portrayed in profile, conjuring up some hieroglyphic stance and causing the narrative to lapse in time. It is unclear where they're coming from, where they're going, or what they're waiting for. Okay. Well, that was a uh, rough cut run through of a couple of shows. This has been Heidi Hahn, Harry Jack Hanley, and Alexander Torborg here at Nisela Puccini Gallery, 327 Broome Street on the Lower East Side. Thank you, Kate. Nice, nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Have a nice evening. You too. Yeah.